Hello learners, welcome to the new video. Today's topic is Scenario Manager. So we will be discussing Scenario Manager in detail in this video. So what Scenario Manager does? It enables us to create and save multiple set of input values as scenarios and view the results. So for example, we are having an investment return calculation over here, which is having three inputs, initial investment, annual rate of return and time period. So these are the inputs and this is the result of our calculation. So what scenario manager does, it can create multiple inputs or scenarios of multiple inputs and give the results. So you can compare in a one shot that which scenario is the best or uh, amongst various scenarios which will you choose for your further calculations. So let's see it in detail. So first of all, what we have to do is to name our cells which are having the inputs. So initial investment, I have named it as an investment. Rate of return, interest, investment period, time period. So let's say time period. Okay. And this is the future value, FV. So it really helps because uh, when we will add scenarios in the scenario manager window, this will really uh, be useful. We can see it in further. So let's go to data and what if analysis scenario manage. So we are not having any scenario over here. So we will be going to add. So this is a window which opens after we click on add scenario. We can give the name of the title as 22%. We will see on various interest rate what will be the future value. Changing cell. These are the changing cells. We want to change these cells, these input cells to get various results. This is the comment box in which we can add the comment. Let's say first scenario. Prevent changes. If we take it, it will enable us to change. And if we untake it, it will not enable us. Hide and unhide. It is for the sake when the situation when we have protected our sheet. So in that case, if you want to hide it, the scenarios, it will hide the scenarios if we take it and if we will not take it, it will not hide. To so say, okay, first scenario is done. So what I was talking about naming the cell is very useful at this point because in the scenario value table or the window, if we will not give the name of the cells, it will say B4, B5, B6. So in that case, you will have to find out that what is b4 what is b5 what is b6 and if you have given the name of the cell then it is very easy for you to just understand that what input i have to put it over here so i am changing interest rate 22 percent saying okay i've created a scenario let's again create another let's say 24 percent second scenario Pressing OK. Pressing OK again. We have created two scenarios. Let's create one more. So, OK. So, we have created the three scenarios. In this window, we can see Add by which we have added the scenario delete we can delete any of the scenario by clicking on it edit we can edit them Mer through merge you can merge the various scenarios in the various sheets of your excel i will be doing it in the later part of the video so just wait let's see the 22 percent show so it has created a result value of 18158 for 22 percent let's say 24 percent show let's say 26 percent show so coming back to 22 percent and after merge there is a tab called summary on which if we will click we will get a summary scenario summary window in which there is an option that we can create a scenario summary or scenario pivot table report so first see the scenario summary so the result cell is the future value cell pressing OK and it will create a summary report. So here you can see that various scenarios are here 
you have 22%, 24%, 26% and the results. So you can see it in one shot that what are the effects of changing the interest rate. Next you can see that there is a plus minus sign over here so you can collapse the cells by clicking on it and there is also one over here one over here so you can collapse or expand as per your needs next i was talking about the merge thing i have made on another sheet one more scenario so i will merge this eight percent scenario with these three scenarios so coming back to the scenario manager merge and it will open us merge scenario window in which you can see that there is a on sheet five there are three scenarios on sheet six there are five scenarios so let's say okay and we can see there are so many scenarios because i have created some scenarios before the video also so we are having 22 percent 24 percent 26 percent 8 percent 12 15 18 20 so we can have a summary of all these scenarios also so coming to b7 so here you can see there are multiple scenarios which we can merge from various sheets means we are merging the scenarios of two sheets so in this way you can do this as well so the last thing which is left is the summary thing on summary scenario summary uh, window there is an option called scenario pivot table report so clicking on that result cell is b7 pressing ok and here we got the scenario table pivot table which we can uh, drag and drop and get the desired benefit so it is it is not much useful in this case because the names etc and the inputs are not so very well according to the pivot table we will see the pivot table in detail in the upcoming videos so this was all about uh, scenario manager you can create the summary reports over here and you can uh, even show them the scenarios on the same page by clicking on the show option so hope you find this video helpful if so do subscribe to the channel like share and comment and thank you so much for watching this video thank you